guys welcome back to keep up with kiana and a welcome back to another wedding series video i'm super excited to be sharing this video with you guys you guys will be able to see all the behind the scenes content from our wedding planning process for me trying on wedding dresses to us going to our final walkthrough and trying on rings and more i am super excited to be sharing all of this footage with you guys without further ado let's get into this video All right, so first we're going to start off with the basics of like wedding planning and pretty much like our first steps. So starting off with the basics as far as like when it comes down to planning a wedding. Um, when we first started this process, like we kind of already knew exactly how we wanted to plan our wedding. Um, it was more so kind of just like executing it and actually bringing it to life. But first, coming up with like a theme and concept for your wedding. So for me personally, luckily, like we kind of already knew what kind of wedding we wanted to have even before we were engaged, just because like these were just the kind of conversations that we were having. And of course, you know, like growing up as a girl, I have always kind of had this vision of like a dream wedding and exactly like what that looks like. So again, thankfully, I was able to kind of like communicate that to Eli and we were pretty much on the same page. I personally was the type of bride, like I had a vision board for everything. So when we first started the wedding planning process, I actually came up with two different concepts um, as far as like wedding theme. I'm like, okay, our wedding could either go this way and these are all of the elements that, you know, come with this theme or it could go this way and then these are all the elements that come with this theme. <laughs> that I created two separate kind of like vision boards and it was actually a fun process because for me personally, like I enjoy like the creative aspects of like planning the wedding. So honestly all things like creative and like coming up with themes and all that stuff like that was extremely fun to me um and we wanted to like include our family in on the fun as well so we pretty much sent off these two different concepts for like our wedding theme like one was uh, i believe i called it like the red carpet affair and then the other one was nude interlude and of course i'll insert both of these items in the um video like as i'm talking just so you guys can like visually see but we came up with both of the concepts like we really like both themes honestly like eli and i were leaning more towards the red carpet theme like when we first thought of our wedding that was the first concept that we came up with but as like i started to build it out i was kind of questioning like oh man like is this what i want is this too much or you know like we were kind of going back and forth so i was like well let me just create two separate concepts present them to our family and then kind of let our family decide even though honestly y'all <laughs> I'm like we really kind of knew in our head once like I got both ideas out on paper and was able to like visualize both of them I knew that I was leaning more towards like the red carpet one and Eli was as well but we still kind of were going back and forth and just wanted you know the additional help and support from our family but our families chimed in and it was actually very close but at the end of the day the red carpet theme one which was great because that's initially what we wanted to go with what we both felt like represented us and like what we could have the most fun with creatively and then as far as like decor and like coming up with a the theme like for me personally i am pretty much like a minimalist like i like things to be very clean so for me white and black was pretty much a no-brainer as far as like the color scheme for our wedding um i really wanted honestly like just a traditional like classic look and then I figured incorporating red would add like that nice extra kind of like pop-up color. Um, just because like I don't like everything just white and black, like I do enjoy color. So I thought red would be a nice touch. So as you guys can see, I literally had everything broken down. I had the ceremony plan, um, engagement kind of concept plan, invitations plan. Like I literally spent so much time building these vision boards. So that way, like all I had to do was literally reference this back and say okay what's on the vision board for the invitations what do we say we wanted our engagement photos to look like etc so that honestly took off such a huge load in the wedding planning process just because we pretty much knew exactly what we wanted going into this and it was just a matter of like executing and bringing it to life okay so after we came up with the theme the next step was finding a venue and you guys have already seen i've put out a venue tour and i actually ended up including the venue that we ended up picking in that video as well we definitely enjoyed the venue touring process but started off really fun and then kind of became a little stressful just because <laughs> there were so many different like elements and things that you had to consider like of course you had to consider your guest count 
um, you have to consider, you know, exactly how do you want your ceremony set up? How do you want your reception set up? You know, what different elements do you want to go into that? And just finding the perfect like building in place to host all of that um, was definitely an exciting and fun process. But again, just, you know, very stressful just trying to like figure all of this out because at this point, all we had was a theme and my like nine page vision board. And outside of that, it's like, okay, this is what we want. Where can we have it? <laughs> so eventually we ended up choosing to have our wedding at the Fox Theater in Atlanta. Um, and we chose that venue for multiple reasons. One, that venue was actually able to accommodate our guest count. So we ended up having 150 people at our wedding, which I guess is like a decent sized wedding. Um, and for me personally, when we first started off this journey, I thought we would easily be able to find like a venue that would be able to fit, you know, that many people. But um, as we continued to like tour different venues in Atlanta, we found that like a lot of the venues were more so on like the smaller scale. It kind of just left us to like pick from a small pool of venues that, you know, offered a hundred and more guests. Um, so that was one of the reasons. Another thing with us kind of like going with the red carpet affair theme, we thought that having our wedding at the Fox Theater would fit perfectly with our theme. And then lastly, we wanted a venue where we could host the ceremony, cocktail hour, and reception in like three different spaces just because we wanted to kind of like elevate the guest experience um, and really just do like different things in those rooms. Like we really wanted to have the ease of just having everything in three separate areas. So that way one, it cuts costs on a uh, decor as far as like having to do the room flip and everything because there's extra fees and all that with that. Um, and then two, again, just kind of like elevating the guest experience. So at this point now we have decor, we have our venue chosen, and really it's kind of just time to kind of like figure out those different elements that we want incorporated or not incorporated into our wedding. And honestly y'all, see y'all like our wedding was very non-traditional. Um, and we wanted it that way. One, that's just kind of like how we are. And then two, we just wanted our wedding to be us. So we chose not to have a traditional bridal party, which for us was a big thing for us not to have. And just like for multiple reasons. One, with us kind of like being in weddings previously before, we found that like having a bridal party can sometimes be very stressful. And we didn't want to add more stress to an already stressful situation. Like we've already moved across the country this year and are now living in LA and are trying to plan a wedding in Atlanta. Um, and we just really just did not need any additional stress. So we chose not to have a bridal party to kind of like eliminate stress. Um, another reason why we chose not to have a bridal party is it was just way too hard y'all to like narrow down exactly who we would want in our bridal party. Eli and I have pretty decent sized families and like just outside of our families like we have a nice handful of friends. So it was just really hard for us to kind of like narrow down like okay exactly who out of our friends, cousins, you know, family members do we want standing alongside of us. And it honestly kind of just boiled down to like, okay, so we're either going to be up there like 10 to 15 people deep, or we're just not going to do it at all. <laughs> because I just felt bad. Like I didn't want to leave people out or anything like that. So honestly, y'all, we just chose not to do the traditional bridal party, which was cool. It honestly ended up working out and I honestly don't regret it. Um, and really we just kind of have like our immediate family service like our bridal party So like they still have the opportunity to like, like walk down the aisle as if they were our traditional bridal party But just keeping it close to like our immediate family really kind of like saved us a lot of stress and like hassle in the long run I feel like I also opted out on having like a traditional bachelor bachelorette party And then I also opted out on having a bridal shower and we ended up just having kind of like a wedding weekend of activities and it personally just worked for us. Like I know a lot of people look forward to a wedding for those particular elements, but for us, we really just wanted to have this as clean and simple as possible. And honestly, we just wanted it to be a big party. Like we didn't want to put the stress on people of, you know, trying to um, plan a bachelorette trip or a bachelor trip, trying to like find a bridesmaid's dress and et cetera. Like we really wanted this to be the least stressful wedding as possible and i think we did a good job like i honestly don't have any regrets as far as like not doing it the traditional way and having a bridal party um like we were still able to celebrate with all of our closest family and friends um and then also too we had like a, a lot of like non-traditional moments like in our ceremony and even our reception as well um like our reception we chose not to do like the speeches we did our first dance and we did a dance with our mothers but outside of that, like our wedding was very much so just a party, which is what we wanted. <laughs> so 
now it's time to execute the vision which for me personally was my favorite part of like the wedding planning process um i just really enjoyed like seeing everything come to life like the first part of kind of like wedding planning i mean it, of course it's so fun like don't get me wrong like i definitely enjoyed coming up with you know like a concept or a theme for our wedding and then also really enjoyed looking at venues but now it's like okay now we're gonna take these items and really bring them to life so my personal favorite part of like the wedding planning process was coming up with like our engagement photo concepts um, just because for me personally i felt like our engagement photos was kind of like our first introduction of our wedding and it was really just like bringing our ideas to life and really just kind of like setting the tone for our wedding basically we did multiple engagement photos just because honestly cannot choose just one concept for our engagement photos so i chose to do multiple which i thought would be fun because one we could have you know multiple different like photo shoots two i thought it would be a good idea to kind of go with our theme to put our engagement photos into like a book or like a magazine or something something that could be showcased at the event and that we could have like as a keepsake um so the engagement photos was a really fun process for us again just kind of coming up with all of those different concepts brainstorming different ideas so i loved how our engagement photos came out and you guys were able to see our first set of photos um in our uh, behind the scenes of our first engagement shoot we actually ended up shooting two different looks that day and um, our last set of engagement photos we kind of just did ourselves that was definitely one of the best parts of wedding planning to me was executing our engagement photos and just really setting the tone for the theme for our wedding so next is save the dates and invitations so for me outside of our engagement photos like this was us really kind of like utilizing our engagement photos and just you know continuing to bring like our ideas to life so i was very hands-on for all things for the wedding so i created all of the stationary items so the save the dates invitations thank you cards some of the signage that we had at the wedding like you guys know i just personally enjoy like DIYing things and like doing it myself like I just really enjoy having one that like creative control and then two just really being able to kind of like express myself creatively and just having an idea in my head and bringing it to life so for me it was very important that I was able to DIY these moments for my wedding so definitely enjoyed creating the save the days and invitations and you guys will be able to see some clips on how that came out Alrighty, so we received our invitation kit from Cards and Pocket. So I ordered some belly bands, which this is going to end up going around the um, outside envelope just to kind of, you know, a nice like little detailing touch. Um, also ordered oops, <laughs> two um, packs of wax seals. I actually have a wax stamp coming in tomorrow. So we're going to go ahead and do this outside of um, honestly, I think the belly bands, to be honest, to kind of help like seal that together. Um, the invitation kit also came with literally everything we need. Um, this is going to be the backdrop for um, like the base of the invitation. So this will go behind the piece of paper, like behind the invitation itself on top of the pocket fold card. And then they also provided us with the paper. So this is going to be used for like RSVPs and then the actual invitation itself which definitely helps out a lot. They also provided us with the envelopes. They also provided us with envelopes for the RSVP cards or you know whatever we choose to make it. So that was really nice. And then here we have the like invitation themselves or so, like what we're going to be putting them in. We decided to go for the um, three-fold um, pocket invitation. But overall but definitely recommend cards and pockets literally provided you with everything like down to the paper envelopes and literally everything for i think we paid like two something i'll put down exactly um how much or i'll put the link down below in the description box but super excited to piece this together okay like, so tonight we are working on invitations and putting everything together we have our wedding invitations which this is probably gonna go up after the wedding so you guys can see the address. And then we also have like the details card because we decided to do um, electronic RSVPs and most of our guests have honestly already RSVP, but just wanted to, you know, put like a nice detail card in there with all the information. And then we have these nice belly bands here which are going to go um, around the invitation.
literally have <laughs> invitations everywhere from the wax seals. And then literally as like we were doing this, I decided that I wanted to do like tickets. So that way, you know, one, it helps so that people aren't bringing like extra guests. And then two, I just thought it would be like a really nice touch to go with our theme. So we have a ticket here for men, which is going to be like the bow tie and the tuxedo. And then we have a ticket here for women, which is going to be pretty much like a wedding dress and like a veil, but super cute. I thought this was gonna be like a very nice touch to kind of add to our invitations. Okay, so next is the dress shopping process, which I'm sure is every girl's favorite part. I know it's definitely one of my favorite parts of wedding planning. Um, and it's definitely something that you look forward to, even as a young girl, you know, before you even get engaged, um, just to go and try on wedding dresses. So for me personally, that was a very fun experience. As you guys seen, I did a vlog where my mother and grandmother came into town. You guys didn't get to see what dresses I tried on, but you guys know that, of course, you know, I did go and try on dresses. So you guys will be able to see what dresses I tried on in this video. Cute, isn't it? <laughs> I like the, the how it fits me. It fits, yeah. Oh my God. That's cute, Kiana. <laughs> oh. oh wow. Which one is that the one? Which one is that? That's the mermaid. The mermaid. That's the one that I picked out? Or no? I don't know. The oh. first one that was over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Over here. I definitely like the bit and uh -huh. like the uh I like the blinking. Oh, I mean, yeah. damn. Yeah, it's almost like that one was made for you. That See, you have to try, it's amazing how you have to try them on, you yeah. know? I love that mermaid dress. I love that dress. Yeah, I love that dress. 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 I would definitely get like a split if I didn't. <laughs> Do you, okay, is it the is it the overall shape? It, uh huh. I don't. I don't. <laughs> that is that not how I envisioned you. Yeah. I like the top though. Yeah, I do. I like, like the top that. As well. But <laughs> hope I'm recording right. As long as it says recording. This is. I, I like it better than that other one. Well, yeah. I like the top of this one too. Wow. Well, that top is top. I was gonna say, oh, look at the back. back. Little, Hold on, let me get the back. Let me turn on. We have this one in the feet. Oh, the, the slit. You know? I'm saying the slit changed the. Yeah. Um, That's cute on your camera. Thank you. The slit changed it for me, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man, yeah. that really set it off. That did well. That really elevated it a lot. It sure did. Now that's, that's that's a good fit. That yeah. style is a good fit for you. Ah, that that top. Oh, I love that one. I love that one. I do. Oh, I love that oh, one. Yeah, I love Just that enough one. Enough train and everything. Just yeah. That's cute, Kiana. Is that gleaming? The girl, shut the front door. <laughs> What? <laughs> it's better and better. Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow. It's better. That, oh, Kiana. That is cute. Turn it around all the way around. It. Oh, wow. Oh. It really is. That's sharp right there. Yes, I would say you're smart. Oh, <laughs> now I would tell one. you absolutely not. Hey, so it'll... this is the A-line one. I mean the uh, uh the same as yeah. the A-line top. Uh -huh. That was this cute too, isn't it? I think I would probably will have to end up going with this uh that look. Yeah, like mermaid A line. Style. You like the other one better? Well, <laughs> until, unless they're going to put all the jewels. Right. Like if I could take the top yeah. of this one, 
I think, the top of this one and put it with pretty much the other part of the dress. I like this top. It's for I just made it back for my first fitting and I think it went very well It was very nice to be able to like obviously, you know, like try on the different styles and like see which one I like See which one I did not like um, so that was really fun. I uh, Definitely from that fitting I had two dresses that I really like so they like wrote down the information for me and You know that way I can kind of like follow up if that's the dress that I choose to get so I have another one tomorrow morning, which I'm also so very excited about. But guys, it is getting real. I officially tried on my first wedding dress, <laughs> which I'm super excited about. I'm like, hopefully this journey is not as tedious and like as long as I think it's gonna be, just because I know I'm already very like indecisive. So hopefully, you know, I can like find my dress in like decent time. But yeah. So I'll see you guys at the next bridal fitting tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Saturday. So I am getting ready, or actually I just finished getting ready <laughs> uh, to go to our next bridal fitting appointment. Um, so this one I, is actually luckily not far away from us. Um, but this one is going to be Pantora Bridal. I found both of them on Instagram, like both of the places that I went to so far, but this place I mean, I was really excited to go to both, but this place I'm really excited to go to uh, just because from looking at the Instagram page, they do a lot of like black brides. Um, so I'm just really excited to go try on some more wedding dresses. <laughs> like I said, yesterday was really fun. So hopefully today we can find some more options as far as like what I like, you know, what style I'm going for and exactly what it is that, you know, I would like to look like on my wedding day. So hopefully uh, with this appointment, we are one step closer to finding my wedding dress, but just wanted to go ahead and check in with you guys. Um, I'll see you guys at the next bridal appointment. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it And by the way, just got in town And I won't let humanist clouds all in the sky Ruin my vibe, and usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option Use you on use your rain and thunder Baby, I wonder Baby, I wonder Would you just put your sweats on Put your sweats on Okay All right, ladies Ooh <laughs> <laughs> It came from, came from her grandma <laughs> Yeah <laughs> oh, yeah, you haven't had the strappers before, right? Oh, <laughs> look at you! You can see this, Kiana. I, I, I wow. love that, bro. I didn't. What is that considered at the bottom? So this is um a rouge organza bottle. Yeah. And we can put these on some so that it's attachable. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye. Can you make anything look ugly? Right here. <laughs> Golly, Anna. Goodness. Girl, I just. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Hey. I mean, she took off the sleeves, and that's gorgeous. But even with the sleeves, oh, I got show Kerrigan. Let me show. Yeah. Oh, that is better. Yeah, now that's oh, okay. It's so delicate. <laughs> that do something to 
totally yeah. different. Not, you know, something yeah. like that. That's okay. Awkward. Yeah. You see y'all? That is very nice. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> and then. But the wedding dress process was very fun. Kind of going into it, I kind of knew somewhat of what I wanted. I can't say I knew exactly what I wanted, but I knew that I wanted a dress to be like a Mikado or like a satin fabric. I knew that I wanted it to be white. And then I knew going into it as far as like a style, I knew that I wanted it to be like classic, but still modern. And I knew that I wanted it to be like chic and glamorous. And for me, wedding dress shopping was definitely the most stressful part of the wedding planning process, just because there were so many different elements of different dresses that I liked. And it was just a matter of like finding that one dress that like encompassed all of these different ideas that I like or all of these different elements that I like into one dress like that was the biggest thing like i'm like there is no way like how do you only get one wedding dress and how do you put in everything that you like into one dress so for me i've documented the two stores that i've gone to try on dresses and outside of that i probably went to look for wedding dresses maybe once or twice more just to kind of see what else was out there i also contemplated like maybe i should go look in houston maybe i should go back to atlanta look for a wedding dress it was just such a stressful process because i was finding dresses that i liked but then it's like okay i like it but can we do this can we do that or can we add this and then like some stores didn't allow you to like customize you know the dress there and then other stores they allowed you to customize it but of course everything that you customize of course is going to be an additional charge so by the time i finished customizing i'm like okay this is a completely different dress with a completely different price so for me personally the wedding dress shopping experience it was very fun definitely don't get me wrong but definitely the most stressful part of the whole wedding planning process just because it was just so hard to basically find my dream dress in stores is what I felt because you're trying on so many different designers dresses so many different types of dresses so many different styles um, of course eventually as you continue to try on different dresses it's like okay I know that I don't like this style and as you guys seen I think I tried on like a ball gown which initially I wanted a ball gown dress I wanted to look like a princess like I wanted to look like a queen on my wedding day and when I tried on the ball gown dress I'm like okay so this is not as flattering to my body <laughs> and then eventually I just switched to like more of a form fitting or like a mermaid style uh, dress so of course these are things that you just kind of learn as you go but for me personally the wedding dress shopping experience was just so hard because it was just so hard to find exactly what I wanted. So eventually I just decided to go the custom route. And luckily I came across a designer here in LA, which was a black designer, which is something that I really wanted. And y'all the craziest thing, literally right around the corner, like I literally would walk to my appointments just to go see her and like get fitted and stuff. But I absolutely love working with her. I'll put her information down below in the comments. But I don't really have like much footage of our particular process just because like one, a lot of our exchanges were like via email. And honestly, like I would really recommend, like if you can, I would definitely recommend that you go the custom route just because you'll be able to get like all the elements that you're looking for in your wedding dress. And for me, that's what made it less stressful. doing our final walkthrough and our tasting and really just kind of like meeting with um, different vendors and just solidifying everything for the wedding which we are super excited about because that just means we are one step closer to our big day and getting married so this is the last time that we will be in Atlanta like I guess unmarried or <laughs> not wed yet but next time that we come back we will be preparing for our wedding so I am super excited to be here and like handling all this business so right now we are currently on our way to our final walkthrough with our wedding planner so we have the mock-up for like our decor and everything so we're just gonna go see the Fox um, in person one more time because the last time we seen it was the first time we seen it which was in like December December high? Yeah, I think December of 2021, so last year um, was the last time that we seen it. And then of course, you know, like as we have been going about this process and like figuring out how we want to decorate it and stuff, like yes, I have a video, but also it just really helps to kind of like be there in person now that like we're 
less than like two months away honestly now from our wedding so super excited to go back and see our venue and just visualize everything with like everything that we have in place and then tomorrow we have our tasting which I'm excited for to taste the food for our wedding so tons of things that we'll be doing for the wedding and this trip and I will be taking you guys along on that journey so today is September the 8th I'm still trying to figure out exactly like how I want to like post these videos I think I might end up posting them after the wedding because like I don't want to expose anything before the wedding so I don't know we'll see but today is September the 8th we're in Atlanta Georgia on our way to our final walkthrough so my eyes get watery <laughs> but uh yeah super excited so I will check in with you guys once we make it to the venue We just left from our final walkthrough and it was about to rain like typical Atlanta but <laughs> definitely went great it was great to see the space again because things like I thought I knew like where we were having our wedding but now that like I've seen it I'm like wow I did not know this was here or like you just notice like small details but definitely a great walkthrough I'm excited to continue to like plan things and continue to get things decorated but that walkthrough definitely helped us just kind of like visualize everything and just see exactly where we're gonna be putting stuff. So, super excited for that. We have some more wedding errands to run and then we'll be back tomorrow for the tasting. Final walkthrough is great and we are all set for our wedding day. Good morning guys. So it is day two of us being in Atlanta and handling wedding stuff. So today on the agenda, we are going to our tasting, which I'm super excited for to be able to taste the food that we'll be having at the wedding and then after that we are going to look at wedding bands um we have a couple of like styles and ideas in mind of like like how eli wants his wedding ring or how i want my band so we're just going to go in person and just kind of like visually see some items try some things on and really i guess just get like a better feel of exactly what we want but super excited for the tasting today and to go ring shopping and i will check in with you guys when we make it to our Tasting. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now, and what you do. That's why I'm mine. Spend my life with you. I won't please you in any way I can. I won't share my world. Don't you understand? Somebody trying to steal the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Very flavorful. You like a green bean? Very much. How much your tasting tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I'll invite myself. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> I know this way. <laughs> right, November 19th, where are you? <laughs> I'm done. Okay. Um, with all the different. It even has Velveeta in it. It's old all school. Right. Yeah, it's old school mac and cheese. This drunk debate might be all right with me. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our Parmesan crusted um, mm, sandwich. It's good. Wow. It is good. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Because I really, I don't know, that's one thing I do not eat out. Macaroni? Mm -mm. I don't either. But this is good.
And this one has more like design element, but I kind of mm. think I like. Yeah, well, one is, it's very it's nice. more classic. Yeah. yeah, more classic. yeah mm -hmm. Like it's blinging so much, I can't even. Yeah, those are nice. I'm Ooh. really loving that one. I so know, me too. All right, guys. So now that you all have seen all the behind the scenes footage from our wedding, I will be sharing our official wedding video soon, as well as some behind the scenes or personal footage that we captured on our wedding day. But I'm super excited to be sharing this wedding series with you guys, even though we are coming to an end. I definitely miss the wedding planning process. It was such a fun time to be able to like just come up with all of these different ideas and just watch everything come to life. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, before you guys see like the official wedding and everything, let me know if you guys have like any questions or anything or if you guys want to know about other parts about the wedding before you all see exactly I guess how it came out. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!